Imagine this, you've saved up for months, you've planned your dream trip, you've arrived brimming with anticipation. But instead of exotic charm and authentic interactions, you find yourself dodging selfie sticks and bartering for a bowl of overpriced noodles. This is exactly where my girlfriend Vivi and I found ourselves during our Valentine's trip to the quaint historic town of Hoi An. But what started off as a tourist trap disappointment ended up being a very insightful lesson on expectation versus reality. We are currently living in Da Nang, which is about a 45 minute drive from Hoi An. Upon our first visit, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, and I didn't feel like there was a story to be told. But running with the theme of authenticity on this channel, the fact it wasn't all we had it planned up to be is the story. So I'm on the way back there now to show you exactly what happened. Good afternoon, how are you? Good, thank you. Happy work. You look very happy. I'm happy yeah, to see happy that. You see. Happy, happy, happy to see you a come. customer. <laughs> happy you come. Oh, that's happy nice. You. I would like a coffee, please. Um, mm, cafe Sua is okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Da. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Come on. Oh, they've even got a doggy. One of my favorite breeds, little golden retriever. A little buddy. <laughs> Not too interested in me. <laughs> Come on. Hoi An genuinely feels like you're stepping onto a postcard. Picture perfect streets, charming canals, and bustling markets. However, the first time, the first night I was exploring the old town, I couldn't help this feeling that something was off. The food was subpar and overpriced. The interactions with locals felt purely transactional, lacking the warmth and generosity we'd encountered everywhere else in Vietnam. Being this was our Valentine's trip, you can imagine our disappointment. We started to question, is this really Hoi An or just another tourist facade? To be honest, I wasn't quite sure yet. Actually, I do have to blame myself somewhat. We often fall victim to our own expectations fueled by online hype and reviews and then we come here and on the ground face quite a different reality and that leaves you feeling somewhat cheated maybe i need to manage my expectations better when planning future trips however i can't ignore the fact that only visiting what's known as tourist destinations is the laziest way to travel it's manic this bridge is and actually nowhere near as manic as the last time i was here during chinese new year well i'm in a bit of a pickle I uh, forgot to tag the location of my scooter and that can sometimes be a big problem here because all the streets look the bloody same. Oh, holy sh! thank God for that. Here is the beloved scooter. I forgot. I, I, 20 minutes, I tried to look here. Look, look, look. <clears throat> Moving on. One thing I will say is traveling to only the most hyped up and Instagrammable places where businesses don't need to rely on quality for a constant influx of customers will deprive you of authentic food and unique experience. Now, I have to be honest, the authenticity has been sucked out of Hoi An's old town, but don't fret because just outside of there is where this town's beauty really lies. It was now day two and we didn't even know it yet but our whole trip was about to change. We woke up feeling refreshed and ready to attack the day vouching never to return to the beaten path of the old town. We set off totally in the opposite direction to explore the area along the coastline. This is when we came across an unexpected surprise. 
greeted with warm welcoming smiles, we walked into a cute little cafe situated right beside what seems to be a half submerged forest of coconut trees, run by an interracial couple whom seem to deeply care about the customer having the best experience in the place that they know and love. And once again, they got two little doggies. <laughs> so cute. Okay. <laughs> thanks. Wow, thanks great. Yeah. Okay, here we have got our own little customized ban siu. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. One thing I really am enjoying about Vietnamese food in general is just how clean and healthy everything is, you know? Because all of the local dishes have barely any oil, barely any fat. Just uh, bush it all in like that. Wrap it up as best as you can anyway. There you go. Mmm. Every time I'm blown away. That is delicious. We fueled up with one of the best breakfasts we'd had in weeks. And that was at the same time I realized this is in fact another tourist destination. You can actually take one of these basket boats around this half submerged labyrinth of coconut tree canals. Initially, I was a little bit skeptical, anticipating the same kind of half assed tourist experience as you usually get. But in this case, I was most certainly wrong. Vivi really wanted to go. And just like that, we're heading on a basket boat, aren't we? Yeah. Bash. Bash. <laughs> <laughs> look at him, look at that technique. You have never seen anything like that before. Look at that technique. He, he's absolutely steaming it through everyone. How's he doing that then? Hello, 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 hello. hello. Okay, this is going to keep me from drowning. Oh. Now we're away from it all. We can't really hear much noise. And if you can see, it's just extremely tranquil out here. Our captain was a local legend, full of life and humour. It was obvious he genuinely cared about our experience. We explored the canals, laughing and taking in the atmosphere. It's a memory that I'll now cherish for years to come. And yesterday, I never thought I'd be saying that. Bash. Wow. Okay, thank you so much. I would like to give uh, our man a little tip. I enjoyed your enthusiasm, mate. Please take this. Come on. Okay, 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 come on. Oh, hat. Yeah, I always try and take the hat. I'm in a bit of a, a bit of a situation. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that was world class. This experience taught me a very valuable lesson. Keep an open mind. Yes, sometimes tourist traps are very sucky, but don't let preconceptions cloud your future judgment. Instead, keep your eyes open, embrace the unexpected, and enjoy the journey, even if it takes a little detour. <laughs> I just want to end with this. I may not like tourist traps, as you might have already realized. However, I do understand their benefit on the local economy and the convenience they offer to travelers. However, I truly encourage you to take a road off the beaten path to seek out your own unique experiences. After all, it's usually those spontaneous adventures that end up being your most treasured memories.